born and raised in Boko Haram camps, these children are experiencing for the first time what it means to be a child. They are part of the 6,000 victims and family members of Boko Haram fighters who have surrendered to Nigerian security forces in the past few months. After a few weeks of psychological support, those helping them are surprised by the rapid transformation they see. You see a lot of them coming into the safe space looking very distressed, looking angry. But after weeks of engagement, or because we engage them for three months sometimes, depending on how we see their vulnerability and all of that, so we, after the engagement, you see a lot of changes. You see them interacting better. You see them taking leadership roles. You see them doing so much better. For these children born and raised in Boko Haram camps where toys are forbidden, this moment of fun is a welcome change. Many children here in the Northeast, they were born into this conflict. They have never known a, a life that is outside of conflict. There are children born into displaced camps. And, and for them, this is normal. Uh, this is not normal. Social workers warn that it's a difficult process. Some, they say, may never know the joy of childhood. Only a small fraction of the over 5 million children affected by the Boko Haram conflict have received any form of psychological or social support. The rest are left to struggle on their own. Experts warn that unless these children receive the help they need now, the North East and indeed Nigeria could be facing a bigger crisis when these children grow up. With nearly a million children out of school in Nigeria's North East, most of them in Borno State, there are concerns they may be targeted for recruitment by armed groups. If it's not dealt with, the impact will be very big because these are children of 5, 15, 17 years, adolescents, and they need to go back to school. They need to integrate their bond with their family and friends, integrate them with other social activities. Aid workers say time is running out for hundreds of thousands of children. And this, they say, could be the reality facing communities in Nigeria's northeast, where Boko Haram still continues to launch its attacks. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Maiduguri, Nigeria.